Welcome to the third episode of our science lecture only here on e-learning zone for biology class. Today, we will learn another set of lesson which is the continuation of our topic last episode. That is all about zoology. Together, let us study more the life of animals. So ready yourself and your mind as we explore our knowledge. Only here on e-learning zone for biology class with teacher Karen. In our last lecture, we discussed the definition and characteristics of land animals and aquatic animals. Now, let us see if you could still remember our previous lesson by identifying the answers of the questions that I will be given. Question number one. What type of animal that lives predominantly or entirely and do their annual activities on land? The answer is land animals or terrestrial animals. Question number two. What type of animal that lives predominantly or entirely and do their annual activities in water? The answer is aquatic animals or water animals. Last question, question number three. What is the branch under biology that study animal life? It is also called as animal science. The answer is zoology. Great job, students! Now, let us proceed to our new lesson. This time, we will discuss all about vertebrates and invertebrates animals. The desired learning outcomes for this lecture are first, Identify the characteristics of vertebrates and invertebrates animals. And second, distinguish the differences of vertebrates and invertebrates animals. To start with, let us know the definition of vertebrate animals. Vertebrates animals, by definition, are animals that have a backbone or spinal column, also called as vertebrate. There are currently around 65,000 known species of vertebrates animals. This sounds a lot, but they are only around 4% of all the animals on Earth. All of them have a similar anatomy and morphology with the same qualifying characteristics such as a cord, a dorsal hollow nerve cord, pharyngeal slits, and post-anal tail. Vertebrates range in size from the frog species as small as 7.7 mm to the blue whale as large as 33 meters. Did you know that the vertebrates are the only chordates that have a brain as part of their central nervous system. In chordates, the central nervous system is based on a hollow nerve tube that runs dorsal to the notar cord along the length of the animal. The anterior end of the nerve expands and differentiates into three brain vesicles. Vertebrates animals can be subdivided into five major groups, namely amphibians, fishes, reptiles, birds, and mammals. For examples, for amphibians, we have frogs. For fishes, we have tuna and sharks. For reptiles, we have snakes and alligator. For birds, we have parrots and eagles. And lastly, for mammals, we have monkeys and dolphins. At this point, let's get to know about invertebrates animals. Invertebrates animals are any animals that lacks a vertebral column or backbone, in contrast to bony vertebrates. More 
than 90% of all living animals species are invertebrates. For their characteristics, Invertebrates are generally soft-bodied animals that lack a rigid internal skeleton for the attachment of muscles, but often possess a hard outer skeleton that serves as well for body protection. These are some familiar examples of invertebrates animals. Anthropods, such as insects and spiders. Mollusks such as snail and squids, annelid, such as earthworms and leeches, cnidarians, such as jellyfishes and corals. Invertebrates animals serve as food for humans. They are the key elements in food chain that support birds, fishes, and many other vertebrate species and they play an important role in plant pollination. In conclusion, animal kingdom has been divided into two major groups, which are invertebrates and vertebrates animals. Again, vertebrates are those where vertebral column or backbone is present. However, invertebrates are in the contrary. They do not possess a vertebral column or backbone. And that ends our lesson all about zoology. Thank you so much for listening and extending your time for our lecture. Together, let us cultivate our understanding in the world of science. Only here on eLearning Zone for Biology class with Teacher Karen. Please click like and subscribe for more video lectures and updates.